Lord of the freaking rings, but totally accurate. We're gonna learn about the history of Lord of the Rings with some amazing custom units, all seen through the beloved eyes of our wobbly boys. This mod has amazing custom units, and you really need that to really like get into the mythos of Lord of the Rings. Now, as it's the history, well, this is the sack of Erebor. Like, Baron, what's Erebor? Fool of a took! Erebor is the mountain that is like the whole point of the Hobbit. It's where Smog invaded. Hearing about the wealth of the dwarves of Erebor, you can read that later. Smog flew south like a hurricane. Deckard Cain should not be in Lord of the Rings. Okay, so let's investigate this. We've got him. <clears throat> Smog the freaking dragon. Totally accurate version here. Definitely looks better than the Peter Jackson films. Um, and these must be dwarven men with some impressive looking crossbows. Dragon killing ballistas. Hawatches. They've got a castle wall. Oh my. Oh, that guy's, they're all gonna die. But what's interesting is the red team is going to win within 30 seconds. Oh my God. Yeah, guys, it's almost like dragons are some of the most powerful creatures in Middle Earth. It really makes you wish that you could see more first stage stuff because yes, Rings of Power is amazing. I know some of you are like, but the elves don't have long hair. But like, who gives a stale piece of Lempus bread? Most of the criticisms are just being nitpicky, but I digress. But yeah, Rings of Power, I think is a wildly entertaining show. This episode, in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, the history of Lord of the Rings, we've got the Sack of Erebor part two. The outer defenses have failed. All that's left standing between you and the dragon is the gates. So Smog here has to defeat the last remaining bits of dwarven opposition. But yeah, dragons, Balrogs, great eagles, the Maiar, like the most men, elves, and dwarves that were ever in Middle Earth, all were there in the first stage. And it's like, yeah, the third age is like some of my favorite movie series of all time. And by some of, I mean all three of those films. And this show is really doing a good job showing off the second age, but what happened in the first age? Like, Smog would look like a chump. This is the Sack of Erebor, part three. Dude, uh, whoever made Smog, he's, he's living up to it. We don't have Bard with, you know, the dragon killing scorpion. Jeez, man, everyone's just dying. It's almost like this is totally accurately what happened in the Sack of Erebor. And then Smog was just like, I'm gonna go sit on all this gold for the rest of my life. Maybe burn some sheep on occasion. Wait a second. What's the Redhorn Pass? After living many years in poverty, King Thror fell into despair, left his people and went north with a single companion. Nah. Ooh, he got the Ring of Power. Okay, so this is this should be some dwarves versus... So that's Nar, and this is Thror. The King of the Dwarves! And... Are these like Herodrim? Or just like human bandits? Who, who, excuse me. Who are you? Oh, uh, you know, just some average bandits. Maybe you should read, Baron. Whoa, dude, you got a little stupid bow, so shut up. Anyway, I'll have to listen to him. Uh-oh, one of the dwarves is about to fall off the cliff. Or, and by fall, maybe he's already dead. His eyes are not shut. Do it, king, block this arrow. He's not even shooting. <laughs> you you had one job, Mr. Arch. Oh, you hit him in the knee. Uh-oh. Come on, Thror. Do it. Yeah, this is like... This is like the history of the Hobbit. Like, prehistory. Who is this guy? I'm just here. As plot armor to keep that archer in place. I don't really have a name or a purpose. Yeah, you really don't. This is kind of cool. You can see all the units of Erebor here. Thror's demise. Oh, this is Azog, isn't it? Azog the orc chieftain. That's a pretty good model. These orcs, they did decently. They had a big nose there, Mr. Orky boy. I don't think the orcs had that big of noses. <laughs> but they all have that. But like, you know how some of the orcs have like other animals' heads or skulls on them? I, I like that. Okay. Oof. Thror. And there, there's your buddy. Oh my gosh. Red team wins in 20 seconds? Wait a minute, who's, is anyone left alive? Defeat, okay. Run! Fly, you fools! Wait a minute, maybe that means 
Gandalf was saying that they should use the eagles. <laughs> I like that S opening scene in Rings of Power. Oh my god! The orcs! The orcs are throwing themselves at me. I've been talking too much crap and I'm dead. Okay, this is harder than it looks. Hold on. What if we did this? Oh! Oh, we're still alive. Can we survive 20 seconds? Please don't jump. Please don't do what I did. You've got to run down here. Okay, this is this is not what I was expecting in the totally accurate history of the Lord of the Rings. Oh God, five seconds. Orc, stay there and don't do anything. Don't throw anything. Ha ha! <laughs> bravely, bravely, bravely running away. Oh, one of the things they said is like, when you open a map, make sure to look around. Where is Gandalf? Yeah, where's Keller Brimbor? Nah returned with ill news. He told Thrain what had happened. Filled with rage, sadness, and grief, he took a handful of dwarves to restrain him. Oh! Oh, this is this is amazing. These are the orbs trying or dwarves trying to restrain him. This truly is like <laughs> It's supposed to be a battle, but it's he's just mad. And they're like, hey boss, calm down, man. Stop punching us. You already knocked out Biffer's third cousin. Oh wait a minute. Biffer's not even alive yet, probably. The Firebeards! The new king of the Longbeards has sent his sons to call upon the other houses of the dwarves. Okay, we gotta help the Firebeards. Okay, what's the situation? Excuse me! Oh, the Firebeards are getting attacked by orcs, and here they are. Ooh, I like like the distinctive like differences in armor styles that these dwarves have in their beards versus, well, the dwarves of Erebor. Hello there! What do we want to put in here? We've got $600? I feel like more crossbowmen. We already have like pretty good melee troops. Like I'm assuming we have good melee troops by the fact that we're bringing some like bosses. Oh, come on. Please hit him with the spear. Oh, he blocked it with the shield. Wait, that guy has a Kopesh sword. Is he an orc chieftain or is he like one of the men from Khand? Khand. I like how the crossbows make like musket sounds. Oh, ho, 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 ho. guys. Oh my goodness, what ring of power makes you shrink? We got a fluke, totally accurate battle simulator little guy. <laughs> and this guy just comes over and slaps him. Oh, he's actually getting wrecked by him. Come on, guys. It, it, it shouldn't be that hard. You, you guys, they can't make contact with him. He's so small. This is hilarious. I think there's a lot of friendly fire going on. <laughs> This is absolutely ridiculous. Where is that little thing? I saw him hopping around. <laughs> oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. Like, I feel like if I just tab and restart the level, it'll end sooner. Oh! He just went flying! Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I didn't escape and end the battle because that was crazy. I tell you what, you play tabs, each time you play it, you see something you've never seen before. It's the beauty of the game. Oh, is this Azog? I mean, no, that's not Azog. Is this a, an ice troll? Who are you guys? More dwarves? See, I like, I, I, I kind of enjoy guessing. All right, so wait a minute, there's another one back here. Oh, snap, who's that guy? All you have to do is read the tomes, Baron. As you go to the snowy parts of the Blue Mountain, you are faced upon a trio of trolls. Okay, ice trolls. They have an ice troll. They have an ice troll. They have an ice troll. It, it's gotta be done. Okay, so three ice trolls, one of which looked armored or had like, yeah, maybe it was just different colored skins based off their age or seniority rank or maybe they were actually wearing clothes or armor. I can't rightfully tell. No, this guy definitely looks like he's got armored feet, but who would have armored him? questions has Lord Sauron the necromancer been lurking here cuz this is I don't know when Erebor was lost was that technically in the third age or is it the second age I don't know Baron how can you have an opinion on Lord of the Wings if you haven't read all the books cuz I'm a casual but Baron why is it so funny to use this little accent <laughs> okay Call upon the Iron Hills. This is amazing. Guys, by the way, we have like five different pages. And each one has 12 battles on it, except for the fifth one. So according to my math, that's like a lot of maps. Maybe even 50 
One. Somewhere in the northeast, King Thrain takes a dump. Wait, what? Went to the last settlements of their fellow Longbeards. Nain, the king's cousin. They will join in the fight. King Nain will answer the call. All right, so who are we fighting? Orcsuses? Wait, wait, well, to it doesn't look like anything's happening. Oh, they're fighting like, hey, it's nice to see you. <laughs> okay, he slapped the flag guy. So these guys look like, oh, isn't King Nain? Yeah, he's the guy who rode the big boar, right? In the little hobbit battle. In the little hobbit battle, Billy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having so much fun with that. Wait a second. When did we get to a Western village? Something is amiss. Meanwhile, in the East, Prince Thorn is on a quest to call upon the other four dwarven clans. The Iron Fist are exceptional warriors. A band of goblins have occupied their minds. And they, and they're mean, cause, and, and, and green, and uh, e e very yucky. Oh, look, here it is. Oh, okay. Never mind. don't mind the uh, western uh, se scenery. This is, this is really where it's happening. The mine. And they call it a mine. No, that, that, yeah, that's, a, that's definitely just a little mine. All right, dwarves. Ooh, whoa. What the biscuits is that? Those are amazing. Oh, snap. This guy's got like an Urukai sword. Whom do you serve? Well, not Saruman. Whoa, you got a weird looking face, man. These are goblins? Little, little, little goblins. Isn't there a lot of controversy or rather disagreement on whether goblins and orcs are the same thing? Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. And then it makes you wonder, wait a second, how would orcs know what a menu is? You know what I'm saying? It, 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 I have questions. Like, do orcs go into restaurants? They're like, yeah, I'll, I'll have a hobbit's uh, big right toe and, uh, you know, maybe like a small pony and like, I don't, I don't know, like a Numenorean's pancreas. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, the stiff beards are being quite... Rigid, yes. All right, so we've got definitely more men. Bandits, apparently. Oh, man, stiff beards look cool, dude. They got big shields. This guy's like, hey, man. Okay, two spears. Whoa. I don't know if I've ever seen that spear in tabs. Anyway, wait a minute. We must read the law. The stiff beards are the best at defensive battles because of shields, you idiot. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. That sounds good. I like, I like shields. I like tactics. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, that guy just got punted. Son, you done messed up. You fought a dwarf and let him punch you. The black locks. Ooh. Oh wait, I can add stuff. I want to add a dwarf catapult. Give him a volley. Thorin journeys further east. The black locks are known for their powerful bolts and wild offensive tactics. They're fighting the Easterlings. So how are the Easterlings set up? Okay, pretty good. Yeah, like Herodrum, very, very, you know, Herod-esque, I would say. No Oliphants, though. Oh, man. I'm glad I added this thing. This thing's glorious. I love watches. I still remember when watches were added in, like, what, 2016 to, like, the original alpha version of Tabs. That was awesome. Oh, man. Yeah, so dwarves are kicking the booty off these guys. Oh, my God. What a shot right through that man's jaw. The Stonefoots. So this is just me fighting the leader of the Stonefoots for reasons. Because he wants to spar. All right, which one's the Stonefoot? This guy. Hey, what is going on with your beard there, buddy? My God, that's a legendary. <laughs> okay. If we sparred with him. <laughs> the Mustering. These guys can't even cut the mustard. So we've got all of the dwarvish tribes here. Ooh, I don't know, man. If I was a dwarf, like, I might want me a nice big old hammer. I feel like hammers are just cooler. And they're made even more cool if you're a dwarf. So the army is quite large and in charge, man. We got all of the dwarvish heroes. And you know what time it is. What, what are you silly goose? It's time for war. The war of the dwarves and the orcs. I've got $1,500. Wait a minute, where's all the orcs? This doesn't look like a lot of orcs. Oh, they're in the trees. Oh my gosh, they're all around us. Sneaking around, eating dwarves, uh, eating hobbit's toes and, and whatnot. To Mount Gundabad. Gundabad orcs. 
I've got Airbor and the Houses of Kazan. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I want archers. Archers! Dip your javelin. Good enough for me. Boys. Oh wait. The orc stud didn't came out on the battlefield in front of us. Gundabad orcs. Is this Azog? That doesn't look like Azog. Where's Azog? The white orc. Cold as ice that one is. Oh my. Yeah, our ranged weaponry is pretty superior to whatever these orcs have. Mount Gundabad. The wall of the dwarves and the orcs. Oh my. Hey guys. Whoa. Oh my. Gross. Look at their faces. These are really, really well done. They are creepy looking orcs. And let's be honest. You got to have creepy looking orcs to have a good Lord of the Rings. Wait, where do these guys come from? Oh, those are my crossbow. <laughs> they were there the whole time. This goes on and on and on all the way to terror in the deep oh you know what that is i think that's a power rock this is impressive if you guys do want to see more or you have other campaigns that we should check out in totally like a battle simulator well let me know pull the trigger and like button if you did enjoy the video and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching